Football View, the beautiful game. Welcome guys, welcome back to Football View. If you're new here, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's the aftermath of that PSG versus Dortmund game. It was an incredible game. I, I tell you guys that I was shocked, I was surprised, especially the fact that PSG couldn't just score goals. They had so many chances. In fact, they missed five big chances in that game. They had several chances to make it 3-0, 4-0. They missed all of them. They keep hitting the bat. They keep hitting the bat. It's as if the football goals were not on the side. I told you guys that if you are playing against Dortmund, try your best not to put Dortmund in a situation where all they have to do is to defend and preserve their lead. Because if you do that, they will definitely come out good. I'm a Bayern fan. I watched the Bundesliga. I've watched Dortmund play very, very well under the coach Terzek. He is very good when it comes to arranging his players in a defensive way that stops the opponents from scoring. They did it against Bayern, they did it against several teams in the Bundesliga this season where they have to score only one goal and defend all through the game. Or score two goals, defend, get the counter attack and cause more harm. They are very, very good in that aspect. That is what they specialize on. So if any team that is going to meet um, Dortmund in the finals of the UEFA Champions League, they really have to look at that aspect. Do not put Dortmund in a situation where they have all they have to do is to sit back and defend. Because if you put them in that situation, they will come out good every time. That is how compact this Dortmund team is. You know, Hummels, who was rejected from Bayern Munich, if you, if you see the way Bayern Munich play, the way Dortmund play, two different ways. Hummel was exposed at Bayern Munich. That is why he was allowed to join Dortmund from Bayern Munich. If you, if you look at how Dortmund play, they are not that exposed. They know how to defend combatly and use um, the counter-attack to hurt opponents. That is not Bayern Munich's playing style. If Hummels is playing a team that plays more attacking football, he won't be at, at you know he won't be as good as he is at Dortmund. He's very good at Dortmund because you know they align, they they complement each other. They 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 go with um, what do you call it? They go they go with the plan. They link together with other defenders. Bayern when Bayern is attacking, they leave Hummels and whoever Sulea or whoever is partnering with Dortmund, um, Hummels at the back, and that exposes them when the opponents counter-attack but at Dortmund Hummels has been the perfect perfect fix in that defense he controlled everything he arranged the players he is motivating them when they win a, when they win a corner kick when they make it clearance when they make interception he gingers everyone to tell them yes that is what we are here for we are stopping them from winning today and that is what happened against PSG last night PSG didn't play bad they gave everything. Luis Enrique is a very wonderful coach. He gave everything. The fans, PSG fans, oof, they were very, very good last night. They were unbelievable. They supported the team. Even after the final whistle, they were still supporting the team. They were extremely good. And I felt that it was as if you have done everything you could to win this game, but luck wasn't on your side today. That's all I have to say because Dortmund played very well, compact, got the chance, they scored from a corner kick, a header from Hummels, who won the man of the match, and the first leg, and the second leg, and you can see that PSG tried everything, they attacked, in fact, they, at the points, they removed all the midfielders, all the, you know, central midfielders, defensive midfielders, all of them, and brought in all attacking midfielders, Kang Lin was there, Asensio was brought in, Bracola was brought in, they still couldn't get a single goal in two games a single goal in two games the first leg they hit the bar several times second leg they hit the bar several times what does that tell you they have tried everything they could but they still couldn't get a goal look how huge that post is one goal couldn't get in there so it tells you that it was Dortmund's turn to shine and they actually took the chance and they are in the finals congratulations to Dortmund and their coach there's like they deserve deserve that win against PSG. I just hope they maintain the momentum and, you know, put out a fight in the finals and probably get Marco Royce a very huge trophy before he leaves the club. But we know we don't know what will happen. Bayern and Real Madrid will play tonight and everyone is expecting Real Madrid to beat Bayern Munich at the Benabal Stadium to reach the finals against 
that man. But anything can happen. We know anything can happen. We saw what happened last night. Everyone was expecting PSG to beat Dortmund last night, but Dortmund proved stubborn, beat PSG home and away. So today anything can happen, but Real Madrid remains favorite. So I'd like to know your thoughts. I feel that the reason why Dortmund beat PSG was because they were compact. They played very well. They were compact. They were brave. When they get to the attack, they played very well. They were not scared of PSG. They were so compact that they passed the ball very well in the attack, created chances. Brandt, Adeyemi, Jadon Sancho, Fulcrook, they all complemented each other. The midfield was solid. And Richan is one of the best midfielders in the Champions League this season. He played very well. Sabitza, who was, you know, everywhere in that game. Sabitza was very good. And he was one of the best players. I think they, they, they played together as a team. That is why they beat PSG last night. I would like to know your thoughts. What do you think about that game? Incredible game, right? I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. And hit the notification bell. Let's wait for Bayern Munich, Real Madrid. Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich tonight at the Benibao. Subscribe and hit the notification bell.